Shop till we drop. Shop till we drop. I have family money. You got family money? Are your panties moist? Your f***ing kids don't want to be around you. You're the worst f***ing mother. Hello, hello, what? Hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop. I swear to God. Yeah. You swear don't, to God? Don't you ever walk away. No. Get her the f*** out Get of here me. now. What are you feeling? Are you gonna like try to talk to Margaret at dinner or you don't wanna bring this up again? Like, I don't know. I've learned now in life, sometimes mm -hmm. friendships, they don't work out. It's like that saying. Sometimes people come in your life for a reason. I mean, what's, what's that saying? I don't know the saying. I don't so know. I'm because I drank too much. There's a reason, a lesson, and something else. Oh, let me call Dolores. Oh my God. Hi, Teresa Gorga. Hi, baby. What did I say? Remember, people come into your life for a reason, a lesson, and what's reason, a reason, a season, a season. Wait, thank you. I'm gonna go it's on. a reason, a season, and something else. Yeah. A reason, a season, a lifetime. It's a poem. All right, thank you. Bye. Maybe Teresa's talking about me. Maybe she thinks I'm just a season. You know what I mean? Have you ever met anyone who talks about money that Guys, much? I don't know why it's so yes. hard for you guys to understand that it's new money. People that grew up with nothing are excited to have money yeah. for the first yeah. time. I mean, the reason I don't mind her is because she's very generous with her. Very if generous. If she was a stingy I agree. about her she money. She is very generous. But she gets a pass from me because I know it's coming from a good yeah. place. I don't really understand Jennifer's relationship with money, but Melissa and Dolores seem to understand where she's coming from, so maybe I'll try to not let it bother me so much. I'm just learning to tune it out. I listen to the good stuff when it comes out of my mouth. I tune out the bragging stuff. <laughs> Most people don't talk about their money. I mean, I don't put a monetary value on things, but I enjoy impressing I, people. I mean, when my kids have parties, it's like the event of the year. <laughs> show everybody that that's, you know I don't what I mean? really think it's about showing. What is I it? I think she's just cheap. You know, like her kid's birthday party, she had just pizza. Who wants regular, who wants pepperoni? There you go. Come get your pizza. After knowing everything that she has, she just seems a little stingy to me. I wouldn't say that. We're here in her Hamptons house, she's beautiful. Goodie bags in the room. But I feel like if you're having people at your house, and it's not just kids, and obviously money is not an issue, What's it gonna kill you to have a tray of pasta? Forty-five dollars. I think she's like. I think she's holding on to her money for dear life. No. For what? No. She's just like. Oh, I'm simple. I I've don't never, like big. I don't I've like never... big. Honey, you're not even close to big. Listen, I don't think it's about the money as much as I think she doesn't think about the food. This morning, we're all eating eggs, avocado toast, this and the thing. She was eating chips out of a bag. Food doesn't even occur to her. You know, we have different things that are important. She could do whatever she wants at the end of the day. I just know if I go to one of her parties again, I'm gonna eat this right. <laughs> that I got cheap at the party that I threw my children because I didn't feed you gourmet food during it? Yes. No, that is it's absolutely not what I'm saying. Like, nobody's asking you to give filet mignon, but you know what my children wanted at this party? They wanted pizza and f***ing Nutella cake. Okay, the kids, of course, don't, don't care. The adults care. The adults care. The adults care. Yeah, you can get that, but you can't buy your party. Lower your mouth. Jackie, she's European. We cook a lot of food. Not everybody aspires to spend thousands of dollars on on the parties that I have done, she has done, you have done, and you have done. Okay, so then it's fair to say that she didn't want to spend the money. It's not about spending, honey. I'm not your honey. Don't be condescending to me. Every time I see her annoying eye roll, I just want to like smack it right off her face. You're sticking your f***ing finger into my face. Because you're giving me your f***ing condescending smirk. So over it. Your demeanor by me is just so repulsive. Hi, More Jennifer. Okay. Take the stick out of your ass and enjoy life for a while. I spend it when I so want to spend, spend it. So you spend it on yourself and no, not your kids' honey, parties? No, honey, I don't. Oh, I just you don't spend it just to impress I people. Like, like, does that really impress yourself, though? Like, that's a play date for me, pizza and cake. This so insulting, my insides are burning. I am on fire. That's talking about me as a parent, saying that I took something away from my kids and I made something less special because I was being cheap. It really is a new 
low for Jennifer. I'm just saying, I don't think it's memorable. My kids' friends remember the party too. They'll forget soon. Oh. No, I, but time, that's not so I true, of Margaret. Listen, I love you, but don't say that I don't eat because I worked really hard to get to a place where right. I can eat. You're right. I shouldn't. I shouldn't make light of it. You're my friend. Don't make no. light. And I'm very sorry, by the way. When Margaret realizes that she hurt someone's feelings, she apologizes right away. And that's the difference between a true friend and an asshole. You know it's coming from a good place, her it's coming no, from a bad place. Way, no, yeah, she's trying to be a, she, you don't tell someone they're cheap. See, I think she's being honest. You would do something like this. You guys both have that issue where you just splurred. You don't mean to be rude, it's more of an ignorance. No, I speak the truth, and I speak whatever I'm thinking, I say. When you're friends with someone, you should be able to speak your mind. You shouldn't have to tippy toe and be on eggshells. You would not serve it's pizza not at a party that was only adults. You know what, Jen? How about this? Don't come to another one of my kids' birthday parties, and you won't be subjected Join. to my pizza. I don't want to leave there hungry anyway, or with your Amazon box of goodie bags. Oh, Guys, make sure you leave with a party favor. Yeah, little wow. savages. And it was like going to the dentist's gift. office. Hey, kid, pick a prize. That's what you got in here, Doc? Right I don't feel the need yeah. to buy for a kid's birthday party a hundred thousand dollars worth of no, shoes. Sure. I don't feel the need to do Maybe that. Maybe it's a hundred and twenty-five. Oh, Jen, the way that you spend money oh, makes Jackie. me vomit in my mouth. You okay? make you vomit in your mouth? Yeah, I just feel that sorry that for you that, that you don't enjoy your blessing. Just so you know, the way you, me, us, throw like lavish parties. Guess who's winning? This mother. Right here. What are you talking about? Because she's a saver. Winning she's what? very smart. She's not about the show. In the long run, you watch whose children are set up nice set in, up for life. in 30 years. Yeah. We're losers. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's yeah. winning. What, but how do you put me in that? Like, what? I'm not, why, I don't why, why don't you shut up? Are you saying my kids are not going to be successful in 30 years? Yeah. Bitch, what are you talking about? You're laughing. You're laughing. First of all, don't call me a bitch. What do you mean? Bitch, don't call me a bitch. What do you mean? Take two steps back and take a breather. Hello. I'm telling Dolores, what happened? Don't right. you ever get her the out of here now.